You want well, to claim that it's not there, and you can say all, right. all you want, so but that still doesn't I, prove that still that still that still does conclude. not. If you want to talk about racism that could be proven, right. so let me let me give you so. some examples of racism that could be proven. How about affirmative action at this college that discriminates against Asian students and white students? What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back again with a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out um, Heckler gets shot down with simple thoughts. Okay, I'll love to check this video out with you guys, and let's get right into it. All right, so I've been watching this for some 20 odd years, you know, just. Oh, ma'am, you've been doing it forever. Welcome guys, to the let, let First me, Amendment. Just, I fought sir, for Sir, can you just stay focused taxpayer on Taxpayer paid jacket. Sir. Thank just, you, I brought it overseas. You, all right, sir, just, just ask me the question. So what is it about conservatives and this whole racism thing? Like you guys are always just saying that it's either not a thing or it's, you know, just not in any of the institutions or the police department, but it seems that over the past 18 years, we've had several race riots, and the biggest one being in 2020. So it's like, how are we still denying segregation in a city where we can clearly see what fucking neighborhoods are white, which ones are black, which ones are Latino, and we know how we got there. So it's like, what is it with conservatives and admitting that there's a problem and not addressing it? Because it seems like you guys want to be obsessed with, oh, the gender thing or the racism thing, and then you guys say, oh, it's not here, it's not a big problem, but why are millions of people rioting every couple of years. So let me ask you a question. We can say that it's Democrats yeah. and shit, right? Well, let no, me ask okay, you a question. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So do you th what do you think is a bigger problem facing America, single fatherhood or racism? Racism, by far. That's can how Can you we say, got that, to... say that in the microphone? Racism, by far, because racism gets people killed, not single fatherhood. Well, no, a single motherhood. Let me be more specific. So, so single moms or fathers leaving the home you think is a bigger problem than racism. No, sir, sir, sir. You're gonna have, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna repeat that one again for you. I think racism is a bigger problem than fathers being outside of the home. However, I do see fathers not being so, in so, the home so, so, is a problem. Let, let's make sure we're defining our terms. How would you define racism then? Racism is a system of oppression used by, uh, used by a certain group using prejudice, institutional power, it. and it's situated by the media, government, and all these so other institutions. So give me an example of one thing you as a black man cannot do that I as a white man can do in America. Got you. Okay, so about two weeks ago, right? I went to a DeSantis rally. Got my ticket, all that good bullshit. Been to a million different, you know, rallies of a kind, whether, you know, I was a conservative at the time or whether I was a liberal, right? I know that as a black person, I am far more likely to be arrested for expressing my view, whether I am a conservative or a liberal. And I've done it on both sides. And, oh yes, I was, I was well, arrested. But you were probably being a and jerk, that's, that's oh, why you were Oh, actually, and that's the best part, and that's the best part, right? That's the best part. I wasn't even being a jerk. And the courts even okay, found so our let, beloved let me, courts. Let me make sure I understand this. So you them. think the bigger problem than fathers not being in the home is a abstract conspiracy theory that you have that hecklers and jerks at political events are arrested because of the color of their skin? That, that's, your, that's the best definition I'm of saying, institutional racism? No, that's, that's not my definition on racism. Well, I did no, tell you what my definition Give me an example of something a white man like me can do that a black man like you can't do. Because guess oh, what? For one, if I showed for up one, at a DeSantis sure, event and started heckling, sure. I'd be kicked out and arrested. No, you would not. No, you, in fact, well, I even have evidence. You know how of that. I know that's true? You want to know, well, you wanna know how I know it's white true? white suburban kids from Highland Park and they're arrested a lot more. Actually, when you oh, see the mug shots. Yeah. Oh, so white kids are arrested a lot more. Could well, that possibly be? Could that possibly be? Can you talk be? into the just, mic? And I'm, and, I'm just, and I'm just guessing here. Could it possibly be that white people are arrested more because you have a higher population and therefore by proximity you are more like... Because it's math. It's basic math. I know we hate math. I know we hate it, but I passed well, okay. it, unlike y'all. So <laughs> let, let me ask you a question. How does racism contribute to black-on-black -black crime in Chicago? How is oh, white people to blame for that? Oh, actually, matter of fact, that's actually a whole other issue. So let's talk about, so you want to talk about intercommunal violence as it pertains yeah, to Yeah, so what, what does the white man have to do with so, that? So, oh, and that's a great thing. I love the red herring that you threw in there. No, it's, yes, it's, because, it's a, hey, it's hey, intercommunal violence is proximal, right? So when we have segregation and we got races sitting in one area, and you got another race in another area. Now, we never ask white people, why is white, uh, white on white crime so high? with white people and never, uh, ins but instead we focus on black people. Yeah, so out of the 530 murders in Chicago of the last year, how many mm -hmm. were black on black crime? Hey, I wasn't looking. 
But you know what yeah, I do well know? Well over you know, 420 hey, of them were black-on-black sure, gang-related sure, crimes. Sure, sure, How is that sure. racism to blame for that? Let's talk, so now are we going to talk about over-policing? He's dodging the questions. I, I'm sorry, sir. You're kind of would demonstrating. You, like to, you can't answer would you, the would you Would you like to talk about I mean, we can't talk about it. We can. Okay, are you ready to address it, though? Well, Are you ready to address it? Is that, is that yeah. for me? Because we can talk about, because we can talk about black on black crime, but we need to talk about it as it pertains, we need to, okay, let's talk about it, sis. We, we, I'm ready to talk about it. Alright, hold on. So I'm ready let, to let talk me just, about it. let me just I'm narrow this down. So let me just, let me just say this, all okay? Right, right. So Peace if out. you were to rank the 100 biggest problems in America, yeah. the fact that I know we're not a racist country is the best example you have. Is okay, some so, so you know we're story of you getting kicked out of a DeSantis what? rally. If we were a racist country, you'd no. say, Charlie, I can't go in a convenience store. Charlie, I can't go into school. No, we actually live in such a li a amazingly so not, decent country that, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't let's not, let's not do that, okay? All I did was get back. All right. All I did was no, speak. you're trying to pull out. Oh, no. Mostly peaceful, everybody. No, no, Mostly wasn't. peaceful, I okay? I didn't lay hands on you. I didn't lay hands on All you. Right. I got witnesses. I did not touch you. Yeah. No. All right. I touched the mic. We're going to wrap this one Don't up. Play. But let me just let anyway. me just say this. We got racism in we we got racism all over the US. We just had a race riot two three years okay, ago. Okay, so let's in talk 2020. About, wait, hold on. And, so, oh my god. And then we had all fifty states plus eighteen countries, but don't worry, I'll Wait, so by I'm race riots, no you mean them. you mean I mass to looting of big screen TVs? Works. Let let me tell you. It is not an argument in your favor that we're a racist country because blacks decide to start burning down Wendy's and stealing stuff. That's called actually it is because you're not even you're not even looking as to why it happened. You're not even looking as to why it happened. And that's cool. And that's cool. You know, we can definitely play, uh, you know, obtuse on the whole issue. Yeah, black people were burning it down. Why? Racism. Racism was a big issue, and we can pretend that it's not a big issue. But hey, yeah. hey. If, if you don't want to, then that's just called being obtuse. And that's why I asked you. And that's why I asked you. Why did you have such a big problem with talking about racism? You want well, to claim that it's not there and you can say all, right. all you want. So but that still I, doesn't prove. That still, that still, that still does conclude. not. If you want to talk not about racism, why we that could be race proven. Right. So let me, let me give you so. some examples of racism that could be proven. How about affirmative action at this college that discriminates against Asian students and white students? He walked out. How about affirmative action hiring practices in the federal government? We are such a decent, non-racist country. The best example that he has is to show that he was mistreated. And if he acted like this at the DeSantis event, I can see why he was kicked out of the DeSantis event. Next question. That dude right there has attitude problem. Like, he carries a self with pride. Pride comes before he fall. It's exactly what he does display right there with pride. Like... He just don't want to hear what Charles want to say. He just wants to just be defensive, number one. Number two, the guy holding the mic, he was trying to drag the mic away from the guy's hand. And by doing that, he was trying to hurt the guy holding the mic. Number three, he was very rude, not just to Charles, but to the entire crowd, the entire congregation right there. Every single person watching him right there, he was rude towards them. He just wants to display his arrogance to everyone to see. This is exactly what I just saw right here. He's not a man trying to stand out for something or fight for something that he believes in. He's just too proud and pompous. And he's playing that victim role because he has a black skin. So it feels like um, the black are being mistreated. I think he has a past trauma of something that happened to him. So he's acting out of callousness that's what i'm gonna use is he has high arrogance like for me this is this is arrogance being displayed right here that's that's the reason why they kicked him out before but him walking away from Charles, it's very disrespectful i hate people with such arrogance and such guts it's 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 shameful guys it's shameful such such attitude right there now people call it racism that people are treating him bad but this watch what he at how he acted right there no, there was no racism right here. No one treated him bad. But his attitude was terrible. His attitude, his arrogance was very, very terrible. So if he's not being cautioned and being arrested, the entire blog has to start carrying racism. 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 They treated a black man bad. No. If you have to watch the video right now, now he, his arrogance was terrible to watch. I was, I, was, I was feeling ashamed for him. I was just nodding my head throughout the entire video. I was like, what, what manner of man is this? 
I love how coordinated Charles was. He was just coordinated, answering the guy's question. Each one he chose, he was answering it. Right from the first time I saw that man, the black man right there, who was with the mic, where I was talking to the mic, I knew I knew he was trouble. Like someone like that, once you just see them, you know they're trouble. So his arrogance was he does display it right there and I don't mess with such people. No, 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 no. I still I, they should stay far away from me. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitches in my bed. I got scales all